How's it going guys? It's Najam. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing and our first impressions of the Tuxedo Computers Order 15 Gen 2. So here's the box. Um, on the side where it has the specs, it does say 8 gigabytes RAM. Now I ordered 16 gigabytes and I'm not sure if, I mean, they couldn't have got the wrong one because it took three weeks or so in production. So I don't know what the heck they were doing in production if they forgot to, you know, put in another memory stick. But I mean, obviously I don't think they've messed up, but here we go. So this is the box that it comes in. It's just a gray box. Okay. So this is what comes out and it's a bit weird. It says enjoy with me, which is <laughs> really weird. Um, I guess it's got the same sticker over here uh, with these specs on it and it still says eight gigabytes, but I mean, we'll find out. Um, what I'll do is I'll switch the camera around uh, to my small tiny little studio and uh, we'll get a better view of this. Okay, you get this and then you also get, I think, the laptop itself. You get a mouse pad and you get uh, the charger. Now this looks really small and lightweight, which is awesome. That, that looks really good. This is very similar to the Dell XPS 13 charger, so it's very small, which is a good thing. And they're putting some goodies in this bag. I mean, they've got pens and they've got a lanyard or something. I have no idea. I'm gonna just put this away because we just need the charger which is here um, and the laptop okay dokie here it is um, right um, let's see it's very light which is awesome that's very very nice um, it is bigger and heavier than the Dell XPS 13 but let's go ahead and uh, turn it on um, the design is actually pretty sleek looks really nice actually um, it's made out of metal um, so it feels really nice let's see if we've got some power and stuff oh we've got green and it says it's loading something weird up okay please carry out the initial completely without interruption only function after restart the okie dokie okay so we've been the uk So it's just going to configure some stuff. Uh, this is normally what you get when you're installing Linux distros. Um, but let's look at the keyboard over here. Um, it's really nice. It's got, seems to have RGB lighting. Um, the feel of this laptop is really, really nice. Um, the keyboard's got a really nice font as well. If I zoom in, you can probably see a bit better. It's got a really nice looking font. So what I might do is install Arch Linux on this because I'm an Arch user and um, I'll see how much different it is compared to Tuxedo OS because I know that this has utilities and everything and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just gonna have to wait for this. Please, okay, okay. Let's go and done. Whoa! 
that's loud and that is a bit annoying. Now the microphone is right next to the laptop, so I'm, I'm a bit further away from it. Um, so it might actually sound um, uh, more louder than it does in real life. There we go. They've got a really nice login screen as well. Um, I, I mean, just look this 90% battery as well. Uh, the others. Oh, hell no, that's not good, is it? Uh, let's just go ahead and click login. So, powered by KDE Plasma, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure if I, uh, I mean, I'm an arch user, I don't know if I want to keep this because I like tiling window managers and stuff. I mean, they've got animations and everything on, so that is awesome. Let's go open the Firefox. Um, oh, we need to find out how much RAM this thing has, so. Oh my god, what an office. Right, um, new effect. Oh, it's got it's got sixteen gigs, which is cool or some sort of. Let's go on H top. This screen is really nice as well. Um, wow, it's. I mean, I think I, I might like this laptop a lot more than I thought I would because I've I look I've seen some other. Mm, let's go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi and we'll go ahead and <clears throat> show you the others. Uh, as you can see, it's got. <clears throat> so they've set this up really well. For beginners, so if you're into if you're if you're into Linux and stuff, and you want something like that, I mean, maybe it's the CPU as well. It is on point. Okay, I mean, I've got notebooks, and if you go on old notebooks, so I mean, this this one right here that I'm using is actually is actually the cheapest option that they offer. So that's why I bought it. Um, because I don't really need something really expensive. Um, so here are the specs for this one. I did pick the eight core fifty seven hundred U, um, and I'm gonna I'm planning on selling my PC or just not using it because I don't really use it anyways. Uh, but I might just end up using this. Now I did look at some of the others uh, which are down here. Um, so we've got some other models which um, I think Infinity Book. Uh, looks a lot better in terms of appearance the infinity book uh, this one looks more like a conventional laptop the the aura 15 gen 2 this is the one that we're using is oriented more towards business use um, and you can tell just by the design um, just by looking at it it's got the number pad on the side um, you can choose a custom keyboard layout and you're, as you can see it's just been put in it, it just looks like this is almost like a normal PC setup you know where you put in the compo components and they just stick, stick them in um, so they've just put put this keyboard in um, see this is the one that I chose so this is the one that they put in um, it's got a fingerprint sensor which uh, uh, I don't think is in use right now so yeah but I don't, I don't really plan on using it um, what I'll do is I'll have a video coming up as a review, but I'm going to have to be using this for a while. Um, I mean, I really like this Infinity OS, I mean, the Tuxedo OS that they're using. They've got a really nice design on it, but I use Sway and I want to use Wayland. Um, so I'm probably going to just end up installing Arch on it and then because of what the, the shortcuts and everything is different as well. But it's very nice. So this is the unit of the cabin window manager. Okay, they're using Windows shortcuts as well. Um, I might want to just configure this a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. So we've got options over here, which is invert. There we go. Apply this. And then... There we go, that's a lot better because we're not stupid people. Oh, I mean, I'm really impressed with this Tuxedo OS that they've got, which is just really cool. Um, the 
go KDE Connect. I mean, this is just awesome. It's kind of like, it's really nice. I just love it. It really looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm not sure if they've got LibreOffice. Oh, they have. And let's go and then open the whole suite. Oh, that was quick. I've never seen LibreOffice open that quick before. Um, and I'm not joking. Um, now, if you guys have any questions about this, if that you want to, would you want me to cover in the review? Just ask me in the comment section below. I might actually pop this video on Reddit so they can ask um, me questions about this as well. Um, because I think there's not a lot on this laptop, and so far I'm really liking it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's already down three percent, which is awesome battery life. And you can just disable Bluetooth like that. I mean, wow, they've done a really good job with making an operating system. Uh, We've got a calendar. I mean, might as well just keep this operating system as my main one. Uh, it's really, really, really friendly. We've got. What do we have to? Uh, of course, we have to apply it, don't we? We've got dark theme. Boom, there we go. Wow. I'm really impressed with what they've done with the operating system. I mean, it's really user friendly. Um, and there, it's really, really cool. Animation speed, the animation. All right, um, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, just ask him in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to cover everything I can in the review. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.